recording. Hello guys, good evening. Kamusta kayo? Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening sir. Kamusta kayo? Na-miss nyo ba ang online meeting natin? Slide, sir. Char. Oh, slide. So, before we start, um, sige, manalangin muna tayo. Then, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, praise and glorify your name. We thank you once again, Lord, for another... Uh, time that you have given to us to have our discussion in sustainability and strategic audit. May all the things that we are going to learn this afternoon be negated in our mind so that we can apply this in our daily living. Forgive our sins. Just let me pray. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So once again, good afternoon, class. Um, ano lang to? Ready na ba kayo for your final requirement sa subject na to? So I believe we still have two weeks before the final exam. And I am going to give you your final requirement for this subject. So, kung mapapansin nyo sa grading system natin, uh, ito yung may pinakamataas na, ano, na portion. Okay? So, we are going to discuss corporate strategic audit. Okay? So, paano gumawa ng isang corporate strategic audit? So, after all ng mga pinag-aralan natin, gagawa na tayo ng corporate strategic audit. Okay? So, hindi ako makalive sa Facebook. So, ano na lang, re-record ko naman to. So, dun sa mga hindi makakapanood, uh, ano, uh, you can, I post ko na lang to ulit, i-ano ko, i-upload ko na lang siya ulit sa YouTube channel ko. Tapos, i-ano ko, i-share dito, i-share ko yung link sa LMS. Okay? So, konti na lang. I think, uh, tatlong assessment na lang ang ibibigay ko sa inyo, including the CSA, tapos-tapos na. Okay? So on Friday, bibigay ko din pala yung scores niyo dun sa SRA na ginawa niyo. Okay? So, for this afternoon, uh, this is just a short meeting. Uh, explain ko lang kung paano ang gagawin natin sa CSA. Kasi ito din yung ano, uh, yung mga nag-ano pa, ano muna, ah, pa-mute muna yung mga microphones ninyo. Okay? para mabilis tayo mag makapag ano ngayon makapag-discuss. Yan. So, yun nga sabi ko nga ah uh, dito, eto na rin maging SLP ninyo. Okay? So your corporate strategic audit will also be your uh, SLP na requirement natin. Okay? So yan. So I'm now going to share my screen. Medyo naglo-load lang siya. Sabi niyo dun sa mga wala pa dito, pwede silang ano ah. Pwede pa silang pumasok. Ah, uh, ano. Meron pa namang maraming ano, marami pa namang rooms, okay? So, yan. Nakikita niyo na ba yung ano natin, yung uh, PowerPoint in ano, in slideshow mode? Yes, sir. Okay, sige. So, let's now going to uh, are now going to discuss a corporate strategic audit. Okay? So, ano bang corporate ano bang corporate strategic audit, okay? So, when we say corporate strategic audit class, it is a research project, okay? So, research project siya that involves the application of the concepts of strategic management, di ba? Actually, a strategic management is another course that you're going to take on on short term. So, after nito, sasa, uh, next sa uh, summer, meron kayong strategic management. Pero, usually kasi yung nasa strategic management, yan din yung napag-aralan nyo sa project management at saka sa sasa. So, ano, mag-ano muna, magkakaroon tayo ng ano, ng, ano tawag mo dito, advanced, okay, advanced na activity. Okay? So, you are going to apply the different concepts in strategic management on an actual and existing organization or corporation. Okay? So, yun yung gagawin natin. I-apply natin siya on actual, okay, 
corporation or organization. Okay, so the project objective, therefore, is to enable the student to apply the concepts and tools in strategic management, which in its totality involves industry and environmental analysis. Okay, so alam nyo naman na kung paano ang industry and environmental analysis, di ba? So we have done pestle analysis, we have done, um, ang tag mo dito, pestle analysis, nag-quarters five forces na rin tayo, nagkaroon na rin tayo ng um, SWOT analysis, and meron din tayong financials. Okay, so we are going to do this, tapos magkakaroon tayo ng strategy reformulation and implementation. Okay, so that would be the end product of our discussion or, or of your project kailangan evaluate natin strategy ng company. Then after the evaluation of the strategy, you are going to reformulate the strategy and implement. Okay, so yun yung ano natin. So for the span of two weeks class, yun yung ipapagawa, ipapagawa ko sa inyo. Uh, we are going to, ano tawag mo dito? Uh, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung, ano, yung, yung, anong term mo dito? Yung format. Tapos, Uh, magkakaroon lang tayo ng consultation. So, yung groups ninyo, okay, yung groups ninyo dun sa SRA will be your group na rin also. Okay? So, what would the first, what is the first thing that you should do? Okay? So, you are going to choose a company, yung company na gagamitin ninyo is yung ginamit nyo dun sa SRA ninyo or sa Sustainability Report Analysis. Okay? So, yung company naman na nakuha ninyo, usually lahat naman sila, short sole proprietorship. So yung mga, yung mga gustong mag-change sa inyo, as early as now, kailangan mag-change na kayo. Okay? So, paano ba ginagawa ang CSA? Okay? So, you are going to do three parts. Okay? So, part one, you have the industry and company information, facts leading up to the case description. Part two, you are going to analyze the company situation. And last na, uh, part three would be the conclusion and the recommendation. So ano ba yung tatlong parts na yan? Let's go over those different parts. So part one uh, is the industry and company information and facts leading up to the case description. Okay? So what is a case description? So a case class is a description of an administrative decision or problem. Alam naman natin na lahat ng businesses may mga kinakaharap na problem sa kanilang mga operations. Okay? So yun yung tinatawag nating case. Okay? Always um, put that in your mind. Pag sinabi natin case, this is a decision. Okay, or sorry, this is a description of a problem. Okay? So they need to decide on a specific thing. Okay? So dapat as early as daw na iisip niyo na ano ba yung mga gusto kong uh, or anong tawag mo dito? Ano ba yung mga gustong sagutin ng company na pinili namin? Okay? So kailangan ba nila nila mag-expand? Kailangan ba nilang gumawa ng bagong marketing uh, tool? Okay, or marketing activity. Kailangan ba nilang gumawa ng corporate social responsibility, di ba? Kasi meron yung mga companies na pili ninyo, wala pa silang CSR. Okay? So baka ngayon, uh, kailangan uh, merong ano, meron kayong maisip na, di ba? Parang isang decision na, uy, kailangan ba nilang gumawa ng corporate social responsibility activity. Yan, okay? So it is normally written from the point of view of the decision maker involved. And that would be the company itself, okay? Pero dahil kayo ngayon mag-audit, kayo yung ano, kayo yung gagawa nito. So the case writer must report to the best of his ability the relevant facts of the situation at the time the decision needed to be made or the problem existed. So kailangan mag-determine kayo ng specific case, okay? So paki-take note sa mga nasa Zoom, paki-take note kailangan mag-isip kayo ng isang case, okay? Mag-isip kayo ng isang case kung saan yun yung isosolve ninyo. Okay? You need to determine a specific case. Okay? Kaya nga, ang CSA kasi is more of a case study. ba? Diba? Pero saan mo ba ibibase yung case? That would be uh, derived from the industry and company information and facts. Okay? So you are going to build up your case. Okay? Isusulat nyo siya kung bakit kailangan desisyonan yung problem na yun. Okay? Sabi dito guys, in the course of setting the case, it is necessary to support it through information about the company and its industry. Yan, 'di ba? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung case na gagawin ninyo will, ano, will depend, okay? Or will came out of the information dun sa company na, na nagawa niyo. Okay? So, kailangan ma-describe niyo nang mabuti kung anong itsura ng company 
at kung ano yung ino-operate ng company para makagawa kayo ng case. Okay? So, sabi dito, it is much pretty like telling a story or the events are recounted and the facts that are pertinent to the story are included in part 1. Okay? So, you're going to tell a story kung paano ba, okay, kung paano ba lumabas yung case na gusto ninyong isolve. Okay? Or yung case na gusto ninyong i-decide. Okay? So, sa part 1, you're going to put the case. Okay? You're going to put the case in uh, in part 1. It comes out as a clear and logical conclusion from the said information. So, meaning, the case will be a conclusion based on the information that you have derived from the industry and company information and facts. Okay? So, sabi pa dito, guys, in this section, therefore, you are required to study the chosen company's current situation and strategic plans. Okay, so paki-highlight yon. Ang kailangan yung i-determine is the current situation of the company. So in the interest of time class, alam ko naman na um, matapit na matapos yung sem and marami sa inyo, okay, yung marami pa sa inyo na anong tawag mo dito? Anong term mo na kasi dito? Uh, may mga iba't ibang mga subjects din kayo, okay? At may mga iba't ibang requirements din kaysa subject na pero sa inyo. So in the in the interest of time class, wag na tayong mag-dwell masyado dun sa strategic plans nila. You focus on the current situation of the company. Okay? So that is my suggestion. You focus on the current situation of the company so that you can write a case about it. Okay, so you are going to look into the different um, strategic issues. Okay, so papadaliin ko na yung buhay ninyo, hindi na ako magre-require ng more than one. Okay, so take note, isang case lang ang kailangan ko. Okay, hindi isang case ng inumina, isang case na ilalagay nyo dun sa uh, CSA ninyo or sa Corporate Strategic Audit. Okay, however, I would like the, the case to be comprehensive. Okay. And it should describe the real life terms and include relevant data and information. Okay, so isang case lang. Wag yun ang isang asanga. Okay, wag na magsang asanga yung case niyo. Okay, it should only focus on major major strategic issues. And simply, it should be ano? It should be comprehensive enough to include the real life terms. Okay, as well as the different ah issues na kinakaharap ng company. Okay. So therefore, it requires you to be selective because it is possible to lose one's case amongst irrelevant information, especially in situation where there is voluminous information available. I I repeat, kailangan yung case nagagawin niyo would be ano would be relevant only. Kasi once na na hindi niyo na build up yung case ng mabuti, the tendency is mababa yung score na mawawala niyo. Okay, so that would be part one. Are there any question? For part one, before we proceed, may tanong ba sa pagbibuild up ng case? One, two, three. Okay, so wala naman nagtatanong. So part one would be on the building of your case. Okay? So if you have any clarification later on, Tas, you may chat it on our GC so that we could address it later on. Okay, so in summary, part one would be the description as well as the building up of your case. And what is that case? That is the administrative decision or problem that you need to address. Okay, so ang ang suggestion ko sa inyo number one, ayo focus on the current situation of the company, and I suggest na kailangan ng kuni nyo is in ah in relation sa sustainability. Okay, yung sustainability part ng company. Kasi nga, meron na kayong data na gather dati sa SR. Okay? Meron na kayong nag-gather na data sa SR. So that would be part one. Next part two. Part two, guys, would be the analysis of the company situation. Okay? So this portion of the research paper contains the analysis of the company's current operation from the perspective of the concept of strategic management. So dito na guys, you are going to ano, you are going to apply the concepts that you have learned from prelims to midterms, okay? So dito dito sa situation na to class or dito sa part ng CSA na ito, dito niya na ipe-present yung mga alternatives. Okay? Dito niya na ipe-present yung mga alternatives basing from doon sa mga sound management principles, okay? So, uh, I'll give an example. For example, ang na-build up nyong case is kailangan yung company gumawa siya ng different uh, leading indicators, okay? 
So, kunwari, yun yung end in mind din nyo. Leading indicators, kailangan yung company may leading indicators. Bakit? Okay? So, that it could measure its performance. Bakit niya kailangan i-measure performance nyo? So, i-build up nyo ngayon yung case. Okay? So, ano yung case natin? Ang case na na-build up nyo is that the company is existing for the or, or existing in in the industry for around 5 to 10 years. However, uh, when it comes to its performance management, the company is not able to dwell too much on it because it it does not have the enough uh, resources to build up its leading indicators. So what 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 happens is that the company is blinded on what what the company should do in the future. Okay? So doon niyo na build up yung case na kailangan maghanap kayo ng mga leading indicators para sa company. Okay? So after na build up niyo yung case na yun guys, i-analyze na natin situation. Ano ba yung meron sa situation ng company na yun? Okay? So you should analyze and evaluate the company's performance with respect to its stated strategy and objective and its existing environment. So kailangan guys, okay, kailangan pag nag-analyze kayo dito, you apply the ano, the pestel analysis, di ba? You apply the SWOT analysis. You apply the Porter's Five Forces. Yan. Para ma-evaluate natin yung strategies ng company. Okay? So that you could evaluate the strategies of the company. After that, guys, you are going to draw conclusions that are realistic, supported by case facts, and logical, and have used application of sound management principles. Okay? I repeat, you should use sound management principles. When we talk about sound management principles, these are all the principles that we have learned from prelims until uh, this point of time. Okay? So, <laughs> Bakit yun? <laughs> Mag-mute muna guys. Yung mga ano, mag-mute muna kayo ha? Okay, sige. Let's continue. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung analysis of the company situation is based on sound management principles. When we talk about sound management principle, ito yung mga napag-aralan nyo from prelims to uh, at this point of time finals. And it also includes yung ano, yung mga napag-aralan nyo on your previous subjects. Yan, di ba? So, what principles you are going to apply on that specific topic? Yan. So, that would be part two of your CSA or your company strategic audit. So, dito sa analysis of the company situation, titignan nyo na kung ano ba yung meron sa company, ano ba yung mga resources na meron siya, ano ba yung mga strategies niya, at ano ba yung existing environment niya. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo dito, you're going to do pestel analysis, you're going to do quarters five forces, you're going to do... um Uh, financial ratio analysis. Yan. So lahat ng mga napag-aralan nyo, you're going to apply it on this uh, part of your CSA okay? or your corporate strategic audit. And last but not the least, part 3 would be the conclusion and recommendation for the uh, for the case. Okay? So syempre, yung case, hindi natin yun ile-left hanging. Okay? We need to answer that case. And in order to answer that case, we are going to prepare our conclusions and recommendations. Okay? So in order to answer the case that we have built up, we are going to use, or we are going to, um, what we call this one, we are going to conclude, okay, and to recommend. Okay? So the conclusion and recommendations in your CSA have to be properly built up. Just like the case class, okay, just like your case problem, the conclusions and recommendations should be properly built up. In simple terms, this means that by the time the student states the conclusion, the reader of the paper is able to understand why the said conclusion and recommendation is such. Meaning, if you have built up your case uh, correctly, then the conclusion as well as the recommendation... Mag-mute mag muna yung mga iba, okay? So, the, so the conclusion also should be... Ano, should be Uh, built up also. So, nakatahi siya. Okay, nakatahi siya sa analysis nyo. So, meron pa yung case, kinanalyze yung company. Pagkatapos nyo analyze yung case, uh, mag-ano kayo, mag-build up na kayo ng strategy. Okay? Sulit ng class, ha? Sulit lang sa group.
Okay, tuloy na tayo class. So, sabi ko nga kanina, yung case kailangan na build up siya ng maayos para yung sagot nyo din, okay, sa conclusions and recommendations nyo, ay ano, ay mai, uh, ano tawag mo dito, mai, build up mo din siya ng maayos. Okay? So, sabi nga dito, the conclusion must be logical and sound. When we talk about logical, kailangan nag-base ka sa mga facts. Okay? And nag-base ka sa sound management principle. Okay? And when we say it it is sound, kailangan hindi naman maging negative yung effect niya sa company. Okay? It should be logical and sound. Okay? So the recommended strategy and action steps are the best ones available to the management of the company. Kailangan nyo i-recommend yung strategy. Okay? Kailangan yun yung best available for the company itself. Okay? Kaya ka nga gumagawa ng CSA is for them to be able to ano, to uh, reformulate strategy okay formulate and reform reformulate strategy so yun yung tatlong ano guys ayun yun yung tatlong parts natin so you have your um, introduction of the company facts you have your um, analysis and you have the conclusions and recommendations okay so this would be the sample parts of your CSA guys okay so ito yung sample parts niyan okay so first you have the company background so in the introduction You're going to describe briefly the company and the industry where it competes in. Okay, so anong pangalan ng company, tapos kung saan siyang industry. Nasa merchandising ba siya? Nasa retail industry ba siya? Nasa consumer ba siya? Ganyan. Okay, so lahat nilalagay niya doon. Next, you focus on a situation or scenario where the company CEO or top management is confronted with strategic problems or issue okay requiring critical decisions okay so it should focus on the company's environment okay direction strategy objectives okay and you are going to describe and formulate such into a problem for for top management to solve okay so yung sabi ko nga kanina uh, case okay we are going to build the case Yan. next Industry and Environment Analysis. Yan. So, brief background. Alam ko, nagawa nyo naman na to kasi meron na sa CSK ninyo. So, you're just going to uh, copy and paste that. Diba? Doon sa uh, part na yun. Next, we're going to analyze the macro environment. So, titignan nyo yung socio-cultural uh, ano niya. Technological, economic, environmental, political, legal, and competitive factors. O, so, anong ginagawa mo dyan? O, yan na yung... Um, industry ay yung competitor analysis mo di ba you should do pestel analysis you should also do uh, SWOT analysis yan you should also do uh, porter's five forces lahat na nandiyan na siya next industry structure so profile and history of major players their size scope profitability influence strategies resources and variable value networks so sa industry structure guys Ha, hindi ko na kayo papahirapan, okay? Ilalagay niyo lang diyan kung anong profile. Okay, kung anong profile ng mga uh, kung anong kung profile ng industry. Pag sinabi kong profile ng industry, okay? I-search niyo lang kung anong tawag dun sa industry kung nasaan sila. Okay? So kung nasa merchandising industry sila, ano bang merchandising industry? Kung nasa mining industry sila, ano bang nasa mining industry? Pag nasa retail industry sila, ano bang nasa retail industry? Pag nasa education sila, ano bang education industry? So you're just going to summarize what that specific industry is. So letter D, key stakeholders. Okay? So lagay dyan kung sinong consumers nila, suppliers, yan. So, pag sinabi natin stakeholders, lahat ng may pakialam dun sa business na yun. Okay? Lahat ng may pakialam dun sa business na yun. Okay. Next, letter E, recent development and trends, implication on the company. So, kung meron silang mga recent trends and development, ilagay nyo. Kung wala naman, o di, hindi na natin kailangan lagyan yung letter. Okay, next. Number three, the company in focus. Okay. Eh, alam nyo naman na yan, copy-paste lang ulit yung brief background and history. 
Next, letter B, overview of the firm's business concept. So, ilalagay nyo na dyan yung mission vision nila. Okay? Ano yung core strategy nila? Ano yung mga resources nila? Ano ba yung mga assets nila? Core competence. O, ano yung core competence? Ibig sabihin, saan ba sila magaling? Yan. Tapos, you also, you also put that their corporate and functional strategies, di ba? Uh, anong strategy nila pagdating sa marketing, sa finance, sa research and development, sa operations and production, sa human resource, yan, sa information system. So, you're just going to put Okay, you should going to put their business concepts on those specific um, parts, okay? Or those specific uh, areas, okay? And siya. Next, letter C, organizational profile. Oh, so, ilalagay nyo lang yung kung anong management style, kung anong management style meron sila. Yan. Ano, yung, uh, ano yung mga systems nila, staff, management style, culture, yan. Letter D, recent performance, major accomplishment. O kung wala naman, hindi na natin kailangan ilagay. Ito guys, ito ha, ito mga nakalagay dito, okay, ito mga nakalagay dito, hindi nyo kailangan punan lahat. Okay? I repeat, hindi nyo kailangan punan lahat dito. Baka yung iba sa inyo na overwhelm. Ala, grabe naman, ang dami nakalagay. Baka yung company na pili namin, walang ganito. Hindi, ko, hindi nyo kailangan ilagay ito lahat, guys. Okay? This is just a suggested format on how you are going to build up your case. Okay? Kung sa industry pa lang na-build up nyo na yung case nyo, o di well and good, di ba? Hindi nyo na kailangan itigdip pa yung mga iba. Okay? Pero sabi ko nga sa inyo, kailangan, okay, kailangan, yung, okay, yung specific, uh, what do you call this one? Yung specific na business style, okay? as well as the specific um, problem that kailangan niya ma-address, ma-build up niyo. Okay? So I repeat, hindi kailangan i-fill out lahat ito. Okay? Baka yung iba sa inyo, masyadong nagugulat, ang dami naman yan. Okay? Kaya, paano pag wala yung company? Parang paano pag hindi sila available dun sa company na yon? Okay? Kinuulit ko po, hindi po natin kailangan, ano, hindi po natin kailangan na uh, i-fill out lahat ito. What we need to do is just um, follow this one and look kung ano yung mga makakatulong sa atin so that we could build up the case. Okay? We could build up the case. Yan. And ang pinakamahalaga dito, guys, would be the conclusion. Diba? We should highlight the situation illustrating the strategic problem or issue confronting the management. And we are going to draw at suggestion or hints for possible solutions and implication from major decision makers. Okay? I repeat, yung conclusion ang pinakamahalaga dito. Kailangan yung conclusion ninyo may pinagbasehan. Well, di ba parang sa research, di ba? Kailangan based on literature din siya. Ito kasi kailangan naman, yung mga business na ilalagay nyo dito is based on the real life scenario. Okay? Na kinakaharap nila. Yan. So, kapag ka nagawa nyo na maayos yun, goods na tayo for part 1. So let's now go to part 2. So what would be the part 2? The part 2 guys would be the evaluation. Okay, you are going to evaluate. So the evaluation would look into the SWOT analysis. So paano nyo ba ginawa yung SWOT analysis? So alam nyo naman na. Okay, so you are going to look into the strengths, weaknesses, opportunity and threats of the company. The third B, critical success factors for the whole organization and in different functional areas both immediate, near future, and long term. Okay. Class, ano ba yung critical success factors? When we talk about critical success factors, these are the things that the company need to consider so that, okay, so that the things that they would like to achieve in the futures will be attained. Okay. And why are they critical? Kasi pag itong mga factors na to ang hindi mo na consider, the tendency is that you are going to fail. Okay. And I would like to I would like to emphasize that you should identify the critical success factors of the company based on the SWOT analysis. And sabi nga dito, the critical success factors should ano should be three levels: immediate, near future, and long term. Okay, so the critical success factor should be immediate, near future, and long term. So pag immediate, guys, this is for the year. Okay, so for one year. So sabi natin ang ang end month, ang end na period yun dito would be December thirty one, twenty twenty one. Okay, pag near future, mga one to two, one to two years. Okay, 
one to two years, ano ba yung mga critical success factors nila so that they are going to achieve what they want two to three years. Uh, sorry, one to two, one to two years. And for long term, this is three to five years. Okay, so you are you are going to identify different critical success factors. Yan, different critical success factors. So ano ba example ng critical success factors? Okay, kailangan uh, ang market share nila hindi bumaba ng thirty percent. Yan, okay. Kailangan makapag-introduce sila ng tatlong bagong product. Kailangan makagawa sila ng isang corporate social responsibility activity kailangan makapag-expand sila. Yun. Yun yung mga tinatawag natin na critical success factors. Because if they are going to meet those factors, the tendency is that they could achieve their mission and vision as well as their goals and objectives. Okay? So I repeat, uh, you are going to identify critical success factors, imitate near future and long term. Okay? So itong part 2 guys, ito yung medyo titignan ko dun sa CSA ninyo. Okay? Number two, review of underlying basis of strategy. Okay? When we talk about underlying basis, okay, what are the different things that they are considering for their strategies? Okay? Ano yung mga basis nila for their strategies? And when we say strategies, titignan natin yung external and the internal. Okay? Kaya nga tayo, di ba, may, ano, may swap analysis, di ba? para makita ninyo kung ano yung mga external factors, okay? ano yung mga strategy na kailangan nilang gawin, and ano yung mga kailangan nilang gawin internally. Din. Letter C, uh, has the firm progressed satisfactorily toward achieving its stated objectives? Okay? So alam ko naman lahat kayo nakapaglagay ng objectives doon, ngayon sasagutin nyo, nagagawa ba ng company na ma-attain yung mga objectives na sinabi nila? Okay? Is the company progressing satisfactorily okay toward achieving its stated objective so you are going to answer that categorically and you are going to explain why have you judged the company on that same thing okay on that same manner and letter d uh, what are the corrective actions that are needed okay what are the corrective actions that the company should do So kunwari, nakita ninyo sa letter C na may mga objectives na hindi na-achieve. What are the different corrective actions that the company should do? Okay? You're going to uh, give what would be the uh, what would be the action that the company should do so that they could achieve their objectives as a company. Okay. And last but not the least, yan. Ito na evaluation of organizational performance oh di ba ito na yung medyo mag uh, maglalaan kayo ng oras di ba kasi nga uh, you are going to compute for the different um factors so hopefully makapagbigay sila sa inyo ng financial statements nila okay and the, uh, sabihin niyo sa kanila guys that the financial statement will be dealt ano with data privacy okay so i hope that you could compute their roi their profit margin yan tsaka yung different na mga ano pa diyan na mga measurements diyan okay so paki-take note na lang for quantitative measures i'm just going to require you at least three. okay at least three measurement as long as those measurement guys could evaluate the organizational performance okay should do the uh tawag mo dito uh, the um, anong term mo dito the performance should uh, ano illustrate okay the performance of the company letter b environmental and organizational trouble so alam niyo na ano yung problema nila and how you are going to do and letter c oh hindi na natin gagamitin yung rumels criteria we are going to apply the balanced scorecard okay so for letter c hindi na natin gagamitin yung rumels criteria we are going to use the balanced scorecard okay balanced scorecard kasi nga guys, doon sa letter sa number 2 tsaka sa number 3, diyan na kayo magbibigay ng alternatives, okay? So you are going to use the different things that we have um learned and apply it para magkapag-apply na tayo ng bagong ano, bagong uh, strategy. And number 4, ilalatag niyo na 'yung mga options, okay? We are going to evaluate the different strategic options that are available for the company, okay? That are available for the company. 
So ano ba yung mga ay, ilang strategies ang gusto kong mapagawa sa inyo? Uh, as long as merong dalawa. Okay? Kung kaya niyo gumawa ng more than two, uh, it would be okay. Okay? It would be better. Pero syempre, kailangan yung strategy na ipopropose niyo. Kailangan may alternative naman yung company. Okay? Kailangan may alternative yung company. Yan. Okay? So always remember guys na uh, sa gagawin niyo hindi pwedeng isa lang. Okay? Don't leave your company na ang tawag mo dito, wala na silang magagawa condition din yung pinopropose mo. Kailangan lagi silang merong choices. Okay? Kailangan meron silang choices. So for number four, evaluation of strategic options, I will require you at least two. Okay? Pero ito, dapat nakabase pa rin dun sa case ninyo. Ah? Dapat nakabase pa rin dun sa case na para na post ninyo dun sa part one. Pero sa strategic options, hindi na ako magre-require sa inyo na mas marami. Two would be enough. Okay? Two would be enough. Yan. So that would be part two, the evaluation. So sa number one, sabi ko nga sa inyo, kahit hindi nyo fill out. Pero sa part two, kailangan ito na yung malaman. This would be the heart. Okay? This would be the heart of your CSA. And majority of the points of your CSA class would be given dito sa part na to. Okay? This would be given sa part na ito. Okay. Sorry, hindi ko pala nailagay dito yung grading system. Ipopost ko na lang siya later on sa GC at sa LMS kung paano ko i-grade yung CSA ninyo. Okay? Sige. For part 3, this would be your conclusions and recommendations. Okay? Conclusions and recommendations. Okay? So, number one, you summary or sorry, you summarize the state of the organization. So, this would be just reiterating, okay, the case that you have uh, discovered in part one, okay, and what are the different alternatives that are available based on your evaluation on part two. I repeat, the summary of state would be just a reiteration of your case and what are the specific strategic options. Then on number two, yan na. You are now going to recommend kung anong strategic option ang pipiliin nila. Okay? So that would be based on what would be the corrective actions, the possible new benchmarks, changes in strategy, and contingency plans. When we talk about corrective actions, ano ba yung mga kailangan nilang gawin? Okay? Pag sinabi natin corrective action, isasuggest yun na ito, gawin nyo na. Ano ba yung usual na gusto kong isabihin dyan? Tanggalin ang sobra, dagdagan ang kulang, ilagay kung kailangan. Okay? Yung tatlong yun na, Okay? Tanggalin kung sobra o hindi kailangan, dagdagan kung kailangan, at, ida at uh, bawa, uh, sorry, dagdagan ang kulang. Okay? So yun yung kailangan kong gawin ninyo for the corrective actions. And the corrective actions class should ano should emanate okay from the strategic options that you have uh, identified. Guys, yung mga ano uh, ano paki-mute muna yung mga microphones niyo please. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so that would be the corrective actions. Number two, possible new benchmarks. For the possible benchmarks class, Um, I'm requiring you to look into the internet. What would be the different uh, industries? Okay, kung saan yung pwede nyo silang i-benchmark. Okay? You're going to search the internet for different benchmarks that the company could get its um, leading indicators or different key performance indicators. Letter C, very, uh, very important. What would be the changes in the strategy? Okay? May changes ba in the strategy sa so organizational structure? Baka mamaya yung organizational structure pala kasi nila hindi pa maayos. Okay? So what we're going to do is to organize the organizational structure of the company in such a way na magkakaroon talaga ng flow of communication at saka channel of command. Okay? Channel of command. And you should always look into the dynamics of the corporation. When we talk about the dynamics of the corporation, how would the corporation uh, flow? Okay? on the specific uh, idea. Okay? And last but not the least, letter D, contingency plans. Okay? When we talk about contingency plans, class, ito naman yung mga uh, uh, alternative forces of action nila in the event, okay? In the event na hindi gumana yung recommendation ninyo. Okay? So, I suggest, okay, ang contingency plan ninyo would be based also doon the, sa strategic option na meron sila. Okay? Yun nga lang kasi, bakit siya naging contingency plan? Kasi nga, hindi siya yung best option today. Okay? 
So, naging contingency plan lang siya para in the event na hindi ma hindi mangyari, okay, or hindi ma-achieve yung gusto niyo mangyari dun sa first part, meron kayong i-recommend sa kanila for the second part, okay, for the second part. So, that would be the uh, parts of your corporate strategic audit, okay, corporate strategic audit. Um, ipapasa niyo to guys, okay, uh, two days after the exam, okay. So, after the examination, I'll give you two days, okay, to pass your CSA, okay, para makapag-grade na rin ako after, okay? So, magbabasa pa ako ng mga CSA and I'm going to grade you para alam ninyo kung ilan yung uh, scores ninyo for your corporate strategic audit, okay? So, that would be the suggested format of your CSA. Yan, okay? So, I'm now going to stop sharing. Uh, may mga question ba guys regarding sa, ano, sa requirement natin? May mga question ba? Sige na, mag-post na kayo ng questions ninyo para as early as now, uh, pwede nating ma-address kung may mga problema kayo sa gagawin ninyo. Kung nahiya kayo, you may chat it dito sa Zoom na lang kung hindi kayo makapag-open ano, ng, ano, ng microphones ninyo. Okay? Para ma-address din natin siya as early as now. Do you have questions, guys? Uh, wag nyo masyadong pahirapan yung sarili ninyo. Ang gusto ko lang makita sa CSA ninyo is the case itself and what are the alternatives. Okay? Kasi nga, yan magagamit ng mga companies na napili nyo yan. Diba? Uh, I, I will be requiring you to offer that solution to them. Okay? Para makita nila kung tama ba or kung applicable ba yung mga nilagay nyo doon para sa kanila. Okay? So that will be the validation whether or not you have done good in your corporate strategic audit. Okay? So, do you have any question, class? Do you have any question? Walang question? Sure kayo, ha? Okay. So, I'll just give a specific, ano, I'll just give a ano dito, uh, tawag dito. Bibigay lang ako ng short participation activity mamaya. Okay? So, iba sa set 1, iba sa set 2, iba sa set 3. Okay? So, magbibigay lang ako ng participation activity, short participation activity para makita ninyo kung ano yung mga, uh, ano lang para magkaroon lang tayo ng basis for your assessments. Okay? But, but rest assured, hindi na ako magpapakwiz. Okay? Hindi na rin ako magpapadrill for two weeks. Okay? For the past, uh, for the past week para hindi na kayo magkaroon ng uh, ibang stress sa subject na to kundi yung CSA na lang. Actually, hindi naman siya stress. A more of a requirement. Basta you just keep it simple okay, and uh, succinct. Okay? Simple and succinct in such a way na talagang maipakita ninyo yung alternative na ibibigay nyo sa company. Okay? Huwag nyo na masyadong ano guys. Huwag nyo na masyadong ano tawag mo dito? Huwag nyo na masyadong pahirapan yung sarili ninyo. Kung sa tingin ninyo, kung alam nyo naman yung company at may nakikita kayong problema nila, o doon yun na dati i-focus yung introduction ninyo. Diba? Doon yun na masyado. Doon yun na i-focus para doon yun na i-build up yung case ninyo. Okay? Pag nakita ko yung case, guys, at nakita ko yung alternative nyo na okay, okay, tapos maganda din yung sinabi nung ano ninyo, nung, ang tawag mo dito, nung uh, company na pinag-anohan ninyo, then definitely you'll get a high grade on this subject. Okay, this subject. So, kung wala ng question, thank you very much for uh, listening. Uh, ano, pa-open na lang ng cameras for our, ang tawag mo dito, for our documentation. Pa-open po ng cameras. Ayan. Para makita ko naman kayo, pa-open ng mga cameras ninyo. Okay. So, hopefully, hindi pa kayo na-stress sa mga dami ng mga requirements ninyo. Di ba? Sa, sa, sec, sa short term, konti na lang, dalawang subject na lang ata kayo sa short term, tapos OJT na kayo. Palain nyo, mag-ano na pala kayo. Mag-graduate na pala kayo, di ba? Hopefully, pag nag-graduation kayo, hindi na tayo, ano, hindi na tayo virtual, di ba? Sana may face-to-face -face na para makapag-akyat naman kayo sa mga ano niya. Sa, okay, sa stage, okay? Sige. Smile, one, two, three, smile.
Okay, next. One, two, three, smile. Okay, next. One, two, three, smile. And last but not the least, one, two, three, smile. Okay. So thank you once again, guys, for um for attending our class. And yung mga ibang announcement ko, sasabihin ko na lang sa uh, GC ninyo. So I believe this would be our last uh, online meeting for this subject. So I hope that you... Uh, you are able to uh, grasp different topics on sustainability and strategic audit so that in the future, kapag magiging managers na kayo, ma-apply niyo mga concepts. Okay? And I hope and pray na sana matapos ang pandemic na to para magkita-kita na ulit tayo face-to-face -face. and um, yun na, para maging maayos na ulit ang lahat at uh, wala ng stress. Okay? So, ito na yung last meeting natin. Uh, online lang naman, pero syempre may meeting pa rin tayo LMS tsaka sa GC. Okay? So, kung wala ng question, thank you very much. Uh, and have a nice uh, good night. Okay? So, bye class. Thank you sir. Bye sir. Thank bye -bye. you sir. Bye sir. Bye sir. Bye sir. Thank you po. Bye bye. Thank you sir. Bye sir. Bye sir. Thank bye -bye. you. Maraming salamat sa lahat, sir. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Maraming salamat, sir.